What's going on guys, Andrew Pillock Hockey here back again with another video. Now you guys are probably reading this title and going, oh man, this guy is at it again. He is nuts, he's crazy. But please, please for the love of God, please, I'm begging you, please listen to me and what I'm saying first because there's a good chance to, that you watching and myself are going to agree and we're going to be thinking the same things. The last time I made a video like this um, where I talked about a rumor that I did not come up with myself, it was more of a discussion piece, and I don't make rumors, I don't have sources, I just talk about what comes out. There was a lot of comments that you and I were agreeing, but you guys, some people were getting angry in the comments thinking I was disagreeing with them because they didn't watch the full video. If you don't have time to watch my video all at once, just watch it later or don't watch. Honestly, it, it's okay if you don't want to finish it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, you know, I appreciate your time, even if it's a minute. But when when somebody makes a comment about something that I've said and then they're saying I didn't say it because they didn't watch the full video, it's kind of frustrating. And I get it. I get it. Don't worry. You. It, it's just please give me give me a little bit of time, okay? Because this rumor is ridiculous, okay? But at the same time, it's not impossible like some people are saying it is. The money could work because of salary retention. Taylor Hall could be a Maple Leaf. Do I think it's going to happen? No. Is it, like I said, is it a possibility? Yes. We'll look into it. We'll look at some numbers. We'll talk about Hall, his price in terms of a trade. But there's a lot to unpack here. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I took a little bit of a break there. I needed another quick little mental health break. It's important that I do that because I don't want to be putting out too many videos and stressing myself out uh, because I do quite a bit. This isn't my job full time. So um, let's just look at why this has been coming out. So this is not where it started, but on t like every social media known to man, of course, you guys know social media is just crazy land sometimes. But you know, there's been articles talking about, well, could Taylor Hall make sense for the Leafs? So I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, Luke Fox here. He uh, made an article and he said, depending on the pick and prospect, um, Kerfoot, a pick, a prospect for 50% uh, percent retention from Buffalo um, might be a little bit high because, you know, right now Taylor Hall isn't having the best season. And uh, in terms of the 14 day uh, quarantine period, it might not make a ton of sense. Uh, to pay that much for a guy that, you know, isn't really even going to be playing half a season for you, depending on when you make the move. But uh, again, we'll go back to it. Depending on the pick and prospect, that could be a high price for a rental, even if that rental is Taylor Hall. The 50% salary retention on an $8 million player feels like a must Toronto or elsewhere. But again, it's going to be a little bit less than $4 million. Um, and we'll get to that when it uh, when we get to cap friendly. Um, so Kevin Adams put himself in a pickle here. The exec doesn't have a ton of trade leverage because Hall hasn't been playing well. Um, you know, he did take the one year gamble on him because it, it kind of makes sense, you know, for him to play with Jack Eichel, but it just, it isn't working. And now Eichel's injured. It's not very good. So, um, he, Hall also has a no trade clause. So if he doesn't want to move, he does definitely doesn't have to. Um, but this is the line that obviously makes sense. Hall would love to be a Leaf and uh, to join a team with a chance. Now, that doesn't need to just be the Toronto Maple Leafs. But, um, you know, he obviously wants to win. And Buffalo isn't winning. And maybe he needs a chance to better himself. But, um, obviously, the, everybody's talking about the Leafs maybe wanting to get another guy to play with Tavares and Nylander. Um, and this, this is something that I wanted to bring up. The shooting percentage is at 3.1 where his average is around 10.2. And you can see with all these tabs I have open, there's something I was actually looking at earlier. Um, and obviously that would bump Kerfoot if he's not traded. But again, if, if you're making this deal, um, I, I think that it's, it's going to involve Kerfoot just to make the money work, which would, you know, if the Leafs are getting a Taylor Hall and it, it makes sense, then sure. But I'm only trading Kerfoot if you know that you have the depth on that second line, plus you're okay with your third and fourth line depth. So um, I'm not saying Kerfoot is the better player, but I mean, right now, <laughs> I mean, Taylor Hall isn't really playing up to anybody's standards, especially in Buffalo. Um, I, I just don't see how people are just willing to trade the farm for Taylor Hall right now because to me it just doesn't make sense now the next thing I want to get to quickly is cap friendly let's just say the Leafs go with the 20-man roster they have no scratches here this is what it would sort of look like they would have over a million because this four million would actually be less and again we'll get to Taylor Hall's cap friendly in a second 
but you still would have a pretty deep team here. That third line that's been playing well would still be together. A lot of people aren't talking about Travis Boyd, but he's actually played quite well. Um, you could mix in a, you know, a Robertson instead if you got rid of Boyd. Um, obviously, you're not seeing Kerfoot or Jimmy VC here. You would have to make those guys um, a part of a trade or waived or something like that. Um, it just don't worry. I don't think it would take much to get rid of Jimmy VC, um, even though he hasn't been playing all that great. You could you could just upgrade somebody's pick and swap that just to get rid of the money. Um, but this this team would still be good, and of course Wayne Simmons coming back makes your team better. But now that top six would be a lot better. You also could just put Zach Hyman up there with Thornton, put him on the third line or the fourth line, depending on if you add Robertson to this there's a lot of options you still can make this work your blue line is still the same you definitely can make it work the goaltenders are still there they can make this happen they definitely could but again i want to bring this up his daily remaining cap it is four million now i do believe that this would be even lower um, towards the nhl uh, trade deadline so he would actually be a lot less. I think it would, I honestly think he could even touch the $2 million range in terms of how much Buffalo can retain. So he actually would cost the Leafs, um, you know, maybe less depending on how this deal moves uh, towards the cap. But uh, I, this is something to look at. And again, if it starts, if the rumors start to get a little bit more serious, I'll look into it. But I'm, I, this number wouldn't be against the cap. It would be lower than that. It might actually be in the two and a half million dollar range or the two million dollar range um, at the trade deadline or just before it. Uh, it might even be at that now. So again, it would have to be 50% salary retention. And yeah, it, it could be easy for the Leafs to make that fit. But I just wanted to show that it could work, even though I don't think it's the best option. Now, this is the reason why a lot of people are not high on Taylor Hall right now. 25 games played. He does have 16 points. It's a good amount of assists. And those numbers would go up playing with better players. That shooting percentage is really low. And that's his career average. I think that that would go up playing with better players. I mean, Buffalo is just a, an absolute crap show right now. I try not to curse on this channel, but you guys know what I really want to say. He's not playing well because he he just hasn't had a good season, but he's also not really playing with the same level of talent that he would be playing with in Toronto. So it's definitely something to look at. Um, you know, to make something like this work, Again, this is not, I'm not saying that this is what it would take. I think that this second round pick could easily be more. You know, I tossed in a fourth there. I think Joey Anderson would be a decent piece going to Buffalo and Kerfoot with the salary retention. I just did this Detroit trade because I needed to get rid of the salary, but you, you could make this deal a little bit better um, depending on if you just want to dump the salary. But I'm not saying this would get it done. Um, but there's a there's a chance that, you know, Buffalo doesn't have any leverage and he goes, yeah, I want to leave and something like this could work. That might even be a little expensive. Um, there might be a different prospect, like a B-level prospect instead of a fourth round pick. Maybe it's just, you know, an, a third round. I don't know how it would work, but I don't even know if I would be comfortable paying this price for Taylor Hall if he's not producing that much. But if, if his numbers, like if he started to, like, again, this is all this is all hypothetical because if if you make that trade and Taylor Hall comes over and he plays really good in the Leafs top six, then you're laughing. You're like, okay, well, this trade makes so much sense. This, this, this is great. The Leafs have another great player in their top six. But if you make this move and you overpay for Taylor Hall, then you look like an idiot. You know what I mean? So it, it I just wanted to make this video to say, there's no rumor out there that suggests that the Leafs are going after him, even though there's some reporters and some members of the media saying that there is. I don't believe. Again, it's all it's all speculation. Like, I think they're just saying the Leafs could be interested. I don't think that they actually are. I would imagine they'll kick tires on it. You never know. They could call them up and be like, hey, listen, like, you guys aren't good. Taylor Hall isn't playing that good this year. We can make this move happen, but we're not going to be overpaying for him because, you know, we're definitely not going to be keeping him in the off season because he's not he's going to want a little bit more money than we're going to be able to afford, even though I don't know how much money he's going to be looking for because the the, the salary cap is going to be flat again at 81 and a half, probably for the next three to four years, according to Gary Bettman. So what like Taylor Hall's a mystery to me because I don't really know if this makes a lot of sense 
for Buffalo or if it makes a lot of sense for Toronto. You know what I mean? It, it's tough, but I want to talk more about this because it is interesting. And don't say that I'm the only one talking about it because lots of people are. I just don't think it's going to happen. Would I like to see it? Sure, for the right price. So let me know down below what you guys think. Um, again, I do appreciate you guys, even if you're disagreeing with me. I, I just would, you know, there's some people that go a little bit too hard in terms of like threatening um, my personal life. Like, I, I don't really understand why that has anything to do with a, a leaf trade. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Nonetheless, there's a lot of people that support. I appreciate all of you guys, even the people that disagree. I love the conversation, especially if it's a healthy one, because uh, without you guys, there's no me. It's that's that's just it. You don't click on my video. I don't make them. That's that's just how it is. I can post and there could be one person watching and I'll appreciate that one person. But my videos, you know, it would be tough to make if it was like that. You know what I mean? So thank you. But um, yeah, tell me what you guys think and uh, subscribe if you're new. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video or stream. Peace.